Well, millions of Americans across the nation, including here in Utah, are breathing a sigh of relief tonight after a new moratorium is issued, giving them more time to figure out their housing situation. But tonight, we're hearing from the executive director of the Utah Apartment Association, who says this 60-day extension won't mean much for landlords and tenants in our state. ABC 4's Jillian Smuckler joining us live in Salt Lake City. And Jillian, he claims it's because of how well the state has done in getting people their rental assistance. That's exactly right. Paul Smith says if the old moratorium expired on Saturday when it was supposed to, he believes we wouldn't have seen a big spike in evictions. Now, he claims it's because of just how fast the state has been giving out its funds. And in return, he says the majority of Utahns have actually been able to pay their rent. Extension will make very little difference because it's really just a defense, not a moratorium. Paul Smith says there's three things you can do to avoid being evicted. Apply for rental assistance, pay what you can, and most importantly, communicate with your landlord. The tenants that are applying for rental assistance are getting it, and rent's caught up and they can stay in their homes. He says the federal government gave the state over $400 million to help those who continue to struggle in the pandemic. We've only spent about $40 million of what they have given us, plus a $25 million from last year. So we have lots of money, and anyone that makes 80% or less of the annual median income in their county qualifies. But he believes many renters don't know how to get it. The first thing they ought to do is call 211, where they'll be assigned a housing counselor. They can also go to rentrelief.utah.gov and apply online. Even still, it's hard to ignore the rising cost of rent. I think people are getting a double whammy because last year most landlords did not uh, increase prices, so they might be increasing it twice as much this year. His advice to those who are still struggling to pay is to negotiate. I think they ought to try to um, explain their situation to their landlord and ask their landlord to uh, make accommodations. And if you know you're going to have to move by the time the moratorium expires. Well, I know prices have gone up, but um, do your best. Look hard and, and look early. Um, you got to get on this early or places are not going to be available at the last minute. And the Utah Apartment Association says eviction filings were down 44% in the first six months of 2021. Now, Smith says that's because renters are taking advantage of assistance programs to help them pay for rent. Now, he believes that the filings may go up in the second half of this year, but not by much.